welcome back everybody on this week's video we're gonna be uh, installing our kitchen and our countertop and uh, there's no better way but to start working so I'm rolling on this contact cement once again my Lepage brand which I don't know let's take these sheets on fine uh, I know it's not a very good one but these sheets are just aesthetic more or less and keep everything waterproof. And then what we do is apply contact cement on the other side if you don't know how it works. Um, and then just as soon as you kind of stick it together it just adheres, which is kind of wild. Um, you can move it for up to I believe 15 minutes after or something like that. And this is the last step before installing the kitchen. Because this is kind of going to be behind the kitchen.
Beautiful Ikea. You know what's the best part? It's 75 degrees in here, and I'm literally running this thing off of solar. So that makes building this a lot easier. It's not just boiling hot. this Hampton Bay butcher block countertop from Home Depot. It says it's eight feet, which eight feet's not 90, 98 inches. It's actually 96 inches. So I don't know how that's for eight feet, but anyways, I don't mind having the extra. We have to cut two pieces out of this without screwing it up. It's like 350 Canadian dollars. It's not that cheap. Then we're gonna coat it with epoxy. And then what we're gonna do is sand the epoxy and then spray it with a, with a lacquer and uh, make it a little bit more matte in color. And uh, yeah, so let's do this right now. This has to be coated within 48 hours apparently um, to avoid it from cracking. So let's get this done and then installed. Great Chinese template. And let's go right here. So we'll do some measuring and do the install.
gonna do an epoxy pour on this again. Well, actually, first coat for this uh, piece of butcher block. Poured my epoxy to mix a little too too much, and also before I set up the camera. And I, uh, I'm kind of behind on this, so I need to quickly hurry up. That way, it doesn't get too dry too fast. So my goal today is get most of this epoxy stuff done. And we'll finish it all, all the epoxy that I've done, with the lacquer later. And why? Because I like that look a little bit more of just the, the matte color um, as opposed to the deep gloss that the epoxy gives you. Um, that's just personal preference. Some people really like it. If you're DIYing this, it's a lot harder to actually pour it that way than it is than it looks on the interweb. So the first coat of epoxy is generally just to seal. That way it kind of takes it in, the wood kind of sucks it into the grains. It's not going to be particularly smooth. Just do a thin coat. It just has to be spread even. That's what the box says anyways. We got this kitchen done as you see it is pretty big for an RV or a motorhome um, we just need to install some hardware we need to install a door here because this is a custom cap custom cabinet um, and then we need to install a sink and all that so thanks everybody for watching this week's video um, if you like our content like subscribe comment on our on our videos that helps us grow and uh, we'll see you next week